Tonight, the largest egg producer in the country has stopped production at its Texas plant after bird flu was found in the chickens there. Cal Maine Foods Inc. says that more than 1 million hens and more than 300,000 baby hens destroyed after bird flu was found in that facility. The plant is located in Parmer County in the Panhandle. The company also says there's no known risk of bird flu for eggs that are already in stores. The U.S. Department of Agriculture, as a matter of fact, says eggs that are properly cooked are safe to eat. Bird flu has been transmitted to cattle in Texas and now to one person in the state. Right here in San Antonio, researchers at Texas Biomed are working on vaccines for similar strains to the ones that are making news right now. They told our Courtney Friedman the risk to the public is low and they shared what's being done now to try to prevent a future outbreak. <laughs> what these scientists are looking at could one day help create a vaccine for avian flu, meaning bird flu. It's research that's been going on for years, but recent news has perked their ears. So you really haven't seen it go from the birds to cattle before? No. Okay, so that's what's, that's what's different about this. Yeah. Texas biomed scientist Dr. Ahmed El Sayed has studied influenza for 16 years. He says three herds of cattle in the U.S., in Kansas, Michigan, and Texas, have tested positive for avian flu. It was only transmitted to one human, and that was here in Texas. The public health uh, risk of this virus is still at low level. El Sayed says there is risk for the people who work directly with the cattle, but for the general public, there is no need to panic. Some people saw the headlines about, it, is it getting into the milk? Or the dairy products, they all pasteurized, and this virus is so sensitive to heat. So heating of the milk products or the cheese will uh, inactivate any existing virus. He said what people may want to do is avoid raw milk or cheese for the time being. In the meantime, El Sayed and his team will continue their avian flu vaccine research. Now, most of the work being done is in a high containment lab that we can't go into right now for safety reasons, but there's a lot of vaccine development work being done right here in this lab, like this fluorescence microscope where you can see what's in these dishes light up here on the screen. There have been avian flu outbreaks in recent years, so the preparation work is crucial. This new cattle case will add to his research, testing these viruses against current vaccines and new ones they're developing right now. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.